is Chad Raiflisberger. It's one of the only fairs that are going on right now, and why wouldn't you come out and have a good time? Now on Local 5, the show must go on. One of the last county fairs of the season wraps up despite the threat of COVID-19. Good evening and thank you for joining us. I'm Michelle McCormack. Tom Zalaski has the night off. Well, nothing signals the end of summer like a county fair. Rhonda Fox shows us how one local fair has managed to survive not one, but two health pandemics over its long history. And I come here every year, you know, it's something I do. Carnival goers have come to the Shawano County Fair for 139 years. Now that's before the flu pandemic of 1918. It survived wars, world wars. The community just loves this fair. People flock in from all the counties all around. I'm from Appleton, so, you know, not a lot of things are going on this year. This isn't the first pandemic the Shawano County Fair has survived. Organizers say COVID-19 hasn't stopped people from enjoying the fair this year. All I hear from people all the time is, thank you for having a fair. We miss having fairs. It's one of the only fairs that are going on right now, and why wouldn't you come out and have a good time? Although people came out, this health crisis has taken its toll on business. Our attendance is down this year compared to the last few years, so uh, we're probably down uh, maybe 20%. Last year we had 35 events with over 4,000 people each. This year they've all been canceled. It was a terrible year. We're really glad to be here. Organizers say the people have helped this carnival survive. The backbone of it is a, it's a rural community and that's where it started, you know, showing your cattle who had the best cow. This is, place is awesome. It's a lot of fun. In Shawano, Rhonda Fox, Local 5 News. The Shawano County Fair started in 1881 and to put things in perspective, this fair has survived two world wars and was around before the Wright brothers took flight in 1903. In the latest daily report,